Hi, hello, uh, brother for the guitar. Uh, my name is Tomo Fujita. Uh, I, I've been teaching at the Berkeley College of Music for over 20 years. Maybe you're not familiar with me, but um, I've taught a lot of people, like probably you know, John Mayer, Eric Krasno, and uh, many, many students from all over the world. And uh, that's what I do, teaching music, teaching guitar. And also, I perform a lot in Japan. See, a lot of you guys, you know, into playing guitar, and most people like to play soloing, which is really cool, you know, solo over the song. And most people use, you know, backing tracks or uh, YouTube or whatever. But its core of music is to me song. Song has mood, story, and everything. So when you practice your guitar, always focus on song. Like, a, you know, chord progression, even blues chord progression. You have to really understand one goes to four or back to five. Whatever the direction you're looking for, always a song. So, you know, when you play single note, you have to make a story with the song. So you have to really focus on, you know, chord progression, something like that. Yeah, also, you know, soloing, somehow people really put a lot of notes into the space, you know. So music is just about playing notes, melody, and space, space and rhythm. You know, to me, rhythm is most important things for music to make a groove. Like, you know, for example, when you play music, you have to move your body before, you know? Something like that. So think about making space between your notes and uh, your playing, okay? Well, no rules really to be better at this instrument. You have to do a lot of things, but somehow, a lot of people teach two octaves, you know, from sixth string to first string, like a pentatonic or, or even major scale. But you see beautiful songs like Isn't She Lovely by Stevie Wonder. That's only one octave. So maybe you want to do, when you play melody or a solo, make it a little limit. You know, maybe you want to play from here to here or only one string, you know, going side by side, something like that. Just a, Limitation is to me, it's a really valuable for you to, in order to understand something, one thing, I mean, really deep way, you know what I mean? Well, I have been teaching at the Berkeley College of Music for 21 years, that's a long time. But also I was student first. I came here um, 87, really 86 in November, and you know, I want to play music in America, so I thought it's a good way to go to Berkeley to study. So Berkeley offer not only private instruction, but also uh, harmony, year training, you know, if you study business, of course, a business course, and uh, ensemble, and history of music. So a lot of a core music around, you know, what you do, you know, um, not, so not only guitar playing, but also harmony, year training, something like that, you know, I mean, like, many things. So what you want to prepare if you want to come to Berkeley, you want to prepare Try, you know, being a musician, not just a guitar player, do you know what I mean? So you want to really understand harmony, a little bit of work on the ear training, make it, make it more, you know, um, specific direction before you come here. Um, you know, a lot of people like Steve Ray Vaughan or John Mayer, Joe Bonamassa, a lot of famous people, you know, and uh, I like English guitar player named Matt Schofield, and the reason I like him, because he he loved a lot of type of music, Oscar Peterson, B.B. King, Oliver King, and you know, so we talk about music all the time, and I think we always say, uh, say for example, Steve Ray Vaughan or uh, anybody, you know, newer guitar player, they are great chef to use ingredient of B.B. King or Oliver King or anything a little bit, of, you know, older players, and so you guys, young guitar player, you, you owe them a little bit your homework. For example, if you like Stevie Ray Vaughan, you have to go back li listening to, you know, of course Hendrix, but Hendrix also listened to Elmore James, B.B. King, Albert King, Albert Collins. All those players, you know, uh, really influenced me so much. And what happened is I, I continue to use this spirit through my uh, guitar playing. So it's not just licks just about spirit, something like that. I want you to uh, do some homework, you know? 
For example, Steve Rayvon really into Kenny Barrero, you know, or Grant Green, a little bit more bluesy a jazz guitar player. And I was also heavily influenced by Joe Pass, who is amazing, you know, solo guitar. You know, if you like to listen to his album, Virtuoso, Two for the Road, that's a great album. Also, Wes Montgomery and Jim Hall, uh, Pat Martino, George Benson, um, so many guitar players. Again, like, you know, when you listen to jazz guitar player, maybe you want to focus on two, three guys just to listen. And really important to listen um, as a musician. Do you know what I mean? Like a lot of people use iPod or uh, you know iPhone to listen to music. If you look at my iPhone, you're gonna surprise. No music on it because I don't listen walking around. I just listen when I sit down. So, you know, it's a little too much, but if you have to do listen like records, one side you listen to it, there's a chance to go back to same side or go to next side. But nowadays a CD includes 70 minutes of music. I think that's not a great way to listen, or, you know, 70 minutes and, you know, or shuffling. So, um, besides jazz guitar players, you know, uh, rec recommendation, maybe you want to get into how to listen, how to listen music more deeply, like that. All right, now I want to just give you give some message to my Japanese people. So, um, excuse me, I'm going to speak a little bit Japanese. Hi, konnichiwa. Tomo Fujita desu. Konkai wo desu ne, Brotherhood Guitar というところでですね、あの取材をしてもらってるんですけども、皆さんもですね、若いギタープレイヤー、それからそれ年いってもですね。ギターは本当に人生を楽しくしてくれるものなのでやっぱ基礎が大事ですから僕の耳と感性でギターが弾ける本とか演奏能力開発エクササイズあの辺りでですね細かいことをですね何て言うんですかねこう深くやることが大事ですですから例えば僕の本を買われても、えー、DVD もですね全てのエクササイズをするんではなくてその中で3つか4つぐらいあの何て言うかな気に入ったものをですね探してもらってそれを深くやってやる。やっぱり一番大事なのはリズムギターとトライアドを勉強することですそれから曲ですねそれではこれからもまたギターを楽しくやりましょう